What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is Cricket 19 T20 World Cup All Time 11. So today we have fixture number 29. It's a must win game for Sri Lanka. They're all the way at the bottom of the table. England, however, though, have a very good chance of making it to the, to the next round, is what I meant to say. I ran out of breath. And um, yeah, so England will want to win this to uh, fortify their position in the top four, where Sri Lanka would want to win this to uh, not finish at the bottom of the table and have a chance at making it into the top four. If they win their remaining games, they can make it to the top four. But anyways, before we get into this game, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload. And also, uh, if you can and only if you can, uh, hit that join button. Run extra subscribe button if you don't see the join button. There's a link in the description to become a channel member. I very much appreciate the support. Thank you to everyone who has joined and uh, who will join. We'll thank you as well in advance. And uh, there are many perks you get uh, with each level that you become a man member of. So uh, yeah, now let's get into game number 29. It's Sri Lanka versus England. All right, here we go. Bloodstone Arena in Bloodstone, Australia. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have the two sides going head to head. Sri Lanka versus England. The right who lineups, Alester Cook for the very first time playing in this tournament. He's replacing the legendary Andrew Straussy. He's been in top form. He's the highest run scorer for England, but I've uh, given him a bit of break. You know, he requires it. He's done so well for England. So it's only fair he gets a day off here. And also, the other legendary uh, captain, former captain of England, Alastair Cook, gets a chance. Here we go, Mahela Javardane with a coin toss. He's won the toss, actually. When Morgan, the World Cup winning, only World Cup winner for uh, Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka have chosen to have a ball first, Mahela Javardane. And here we go, Lasset Malinga to bowl the first delivery to Alastair Cook. That's a good shot. He'll uh, get one run. He's guided that one to deep square leg. Really trying to make that. Uh, oh, that's a good shot. Cook goes over the top in four runs. I've also given Alex Stewart a chance because Josh Butler is just not cutting the cake. Neither was Johnny Basto. So I've uh, brought Alex Stewart, the legendary wicketkeeper batsman, on. And the vast gives him a bit of room. That's all Cook requires. Chef Cook, here we go. Ten runs. He's on two already. That's two hundred strike he's going at. He was a test specialist, but he knows a thing or two about T20 as well. Stewart brought you in for a, a very good player of white ball. He's just out of form, so you're going to have to do really well to keep your position over Joss Butler. Jossie Butt Butt. But uh, he's had a good start so far. Let's hope he can keep going for England's sake. Shot. All right, he's gone over Cow Corner. And into the hands of the field. That was a free hit, so it was never going to be out. Even if he'd hung on to that one. Those are difficult, by the way. It's not easy. Last Malinga coming around the wicket. He creates it, that extra bit of angle, but Cook does not care as he smashes that one over the circle for four runs. Malinga comes around the wicket again. That's another lovely shot this time into extra cover. 19 Cook moves on to. He's making it very difficult for me to choose between him or Straussy. I mean, maybe I can just pick both of them together. But then what do I do with the wicketkeeper batsman? I'm going to have to drop one of the all-rounders for them. This is becoming very difficult, the selection. Yep. Oh, it's a good shot. Gone. Stewart. I have a feeling he wants to keep his place in the team. Doesn't just want to be a filler, a temporary rotation of the squad, you know. He's doing well so far to keep his spot. Totally hurt and the legendary spinner. And put away for a four. 23 he's on already of 13 deliveries. Oh, it's spun a bit, but Cook is not phased. Oh, Sammy goes straight down the ground. That's another boundary for him. So he's gone up. Yeah, that's 31 for him now, or 15. So he's going at over 200 strike rate after 15 deliveries still. So very good innings from him. 
He's got three back-to-back -back fours. Oh, make that four back-to-back -back fours. 16 runs, four times four is, you guessed it, 16. It's a good shot again. Kirk is looking um, spectacular today. That's 50 runs about between the two and uh, he's moved on to 40. Alex Stewart at the other end is uh, playing the supporting role and why not? I mean, when you've got someone who's in the kind of form that Cook is, 40 of 19, you might as well just get out of the way. Oh, that's a good square drive and he's beating the fielder. He's beating the fielder. Showing a bit of class there, a bit of finesse. Showing the youngster that it's not all about power. Timing and technique matters the most. Like I said, he was known as, well, still is known as a test specialist, but if you can play in test, you can play in any format. Yep. Oh, that's a good shot. It's a very good shot. Just two runs away now from uh, his half ton. First game he's playing here, and he's gonna, well, let's hope he does. Let's hope I didn't jinx him. But um, he's pretty much gonna get his 50. Yep. Oh, the switcheroo from Alex Stewart. That's a top edge. And that's the end of uh, Stewart, if he hangs on here, which he does. All right, so another lackluster innings from another English wicketkeeper batsman. So that struggle continues for England. Yet to find someone who can stick out, out there for a bit longer than that. We've got Matt Pryor still to try out. We can uh, give him a go, see how that goes. Um... If not, then I guess we'll go back to Jossie, but, but, but um, at the moment, not a very good prospectus for England. But Sri Lanka has gotten a wicket, though. Mathai Murli then gets a top edge and a lovely catch. I was surprised he actually hung on to that one, considering how often they drop catches in this game. But uh, Alex Stewart, gone. 11 of 14. It's not just that he scored only 11. He also scored uh, 14 deliveries, which is just not acceptable, not in a T20. Michael Atherton, who's uh, going to be playing his first game here as well, alongside Lester Cook. It's uh, a day where many of the Englishmen are going to make their debuts. Yep. Oh, Cook's made the most of it. That's going to... Is he going to come back for the second? Oh, that's a risky one. That's a risky one, dive, he dives, and that's his 50. Maiden 50 on his debut. Let's go, mate. 25 deliveries as well, 200 strike rate. Take a bow, son. Oh, that's a good shot. There's a fielder coming under it. I have a feeling he's cleared him. Oh, he's cleared him by a mile. That's gone, that's a six. Six number 298, just two more. And we'll hit 300 sixes in the tournament. It's a lovely flick, gone for four. 60s on now. It's another lovely flick, straight to the fielder this time. Just a bounce in front of him. They could have taken a second run there. Chosen not to in the end. Shot, straight to the fielder though. And he's gone. Michael Atherton with a very lackluster debut. One of five deliveries, not what was required. So I don't know Lester Cook. Well, no one's really done anything. And that's why England is uh, not in the greatest of position. Although England's, you know, when you look at the scorecard, they're doing well, but then you've got, you look at the other batsmen and they've not contributed much and you're like, well, Cook is a very classy batsman. But um, he's going to exhaust himself. And then you're going to be left with, uh, well, you know, a few runs, not too many. Ian Bell out in the middle now. Another textbook player. Very classy. By the way, I was watching the third test between England and West Indies. And um, I was watching goalie Oli Pope, who played really well in the first innings. Obviously, I'll talk more about that in the, you know, the This Week in Cricket uh, video. But yeah, doesn't he look under the helmet? Doesn't he look a bit like a, a Ian Bell, especially with the stance as well, the batting stance he's got? I, I don't know. I felt it. I was like, he looks a bit like Ian Bell. I hope he's as good, you know, because Ian Bell, an absolute legendary batsman. But, uh, yeah. 
It's a good shot, but there's a fielder coming under it. Well, all he can do is watch it sail over for six runs. That's 92 meters long. A six number 299. One more and we are at, you guessed it, 300. So you can do simple arithmetic then. Arithmetic operations. Oh, what a delivery. Oh my goodness. That was incredible. Look at that, mate. Look at that. Oh my. That is unbelievable. It, it required something special to dismiss the special one, Ian Bell. And well, a gentleman just delivered it. He's gone for 11 of 4. A very good innings. Well, good in the sense that he was going at nearly 300 strike rate. But here we go. Now we have the skipper himself, Owen Morgan. That's a lovely flick of the wrist, center of the cow corner he goes, and four runs from Owen Morgan, the very first delivery is faced. Yep. Okay, what a shot, Cook, with the unorthodox shot. Now that, he, now that he's got Morgs out there, he's like, you know what, I can do the reverse sweep as well. He's done it really well, love that. Oh, it's a good shot. I think that's a six. I think that's a six. And that right there is 300. And it's come off with a special one's blade. Alastair Cook. 300 sixes up in this tournament. Here we go. Lovely jubbly, mate. That's a good shot on the offside. He's found the gap. 77. All right. Oh, Cook. Oh, Cook. My Cook. You are not making the selection easy for me. That's a wave of delivery. Has to be put away for a six. That's gone. Don't worry about that. That's another six. Lasseth Malinga has been brought into the attack now. Oh, that's a good shot. There's a fielder there. Will he get to it? Oh, is that a six? I'm not entirely sure, no signal yet from the umpire, he's not sure himself. All right, there we go, we've got the official signal, now it's four. That's a good shot, that's a good shot indeed, that's gone for four. Lovely. It's a lovely shot on cover, 88 he moves on to, are we going to get another 100 here? The hundreds are racking up. I mean, there's a, well, we've got one player getting them twice. And we've got a few other players who've got it as well. Is the hundred club gonna grow today? We're about to find out. It's gonna way too much room. That's another lovely shot. Owen Morgan. It's a four there. Uh, 17 of eight, he's on now. Jimmy Devas, that's a good shot. There's a fielder coming under it, is that? Gonna go over, yes it will. That's another six right there for Moyen Morgan. Lovely bit of batting. He's such an aggressive batsman. I love him. I love him to bits. It's gonna way too much room again. The field is coming under him again. I don't think he's got all of it this time. No, he has not. That's the end of Owen Morgan. Gone for 23 of 10 deliveries. Taminda Vass strikes, gets the dangerous Owen Morgan out, the inform Owen Morgan. The skipper who is leading by example. And then there's Alessa Cook at the other end, who's just wreaking havoc as well. And uh, well, he's been out there for a lot longer than Morg, so he's done a lot more damage. That's the end of a very good cameo. Ben Stokes comes into the middle now. Yeah, see, this is what I was saying. I'm going to have to break up this partnership of, uh, you know, uh, all-rounders I have. Ben Stokes, Freddie Flintoff, Ian Botham, and Elastica Cook goes six. Alrighty then, see what I mean? I'm going to have to open with Straussy and Cook together, the two legendary uh, English batsmen openers, former captains, both of them. It's kind of difficult because I really don't want to take out any of the all-rounders. Ben Stokes, Freddy, or uh, Ian Botham. Nice ball that on his legs. That's gone for six. Don't bother Ryan after that one. That's gone. 
just about close to the rope, 90 metres. Six number 303 from Brent Stokes, he's Diamond Blade. I'm loving it, he's such an, he's in a top form. He wasn't that great in the third test, but um, yeah, it's all right. You're gonna have a bad day here and there. Can't wait for Cook to join the Centurion Club, and I think he's just done that. Yes, he has. That's four runs, and that's 100 up for Alasta Cook. Sir Alasta Cook, on his debut, gets 100. Oh boy, he's a legend, true legend of the game. The highest ever English run scorer. It's a lovely flick you do. He's not done, mate. He's not done yet. Well, that's a good shot straight down the ground. That's going to go to the boundary for four. Easy pickings for him, really. Nobody there on the rope, so he doesn't really have to worry about getting caught. Well, look at that. He's played all around the ground. Pretty much everywhere. Mr. 360, Mr. Cook. That's not out. Nah, it's not out there. That was just unnecessary. Absolutely no need for that throw. That's the end of that batsman. Oh, what a take by the wicket keeper. I'm like, is anybody going to get under it? I didn't realize it was a keeper right after it. That was a very difficult catch. I mean, one of the fielders could have just taken that one instead. Well... Now that I think about it, they might not have had anyone close by, that's why Kumar ran after it. Yeah, now that I think about it, the closest one is that um, fine leg up there, or short fine leg. That's the end of the brilliant, the magnificent, Alastair Cook 109, as Andrew Flintoff makes his way out to the middle. Andrew the Beef Flintoff. <laughs> All right, that's a six. Uh, that's a six. Uh, there he goes. 24 he moves on to with that lovely leg glance. Oh, that's a good shot. There's a fielder coming under it. Is that a catch? Yes, it is. That's the end of Ben Stokes. A very good innings has come to an end. He's going at 200 strike rate. The anthem end has given him an absolute pie of a delivery. He's expecting him to swing at it, and he did well. It's just there was a failure on the rope and he could not clear him in the end. And that's his uh, demise. Lasseth Malinga. Took a lovely catch there. And there he is. 26 of 14 now. So his uh, strike rate's dropped below 200. But while he was batting, it was 200 exactly. Graham Swan comes out to have a bat. And uh, oh, by the way, I did a couple other quiz videos as well. Oh, we come in uh, soon, I hope. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot. There are two fielders coming under it. One of them yeah. takes it. And that's the end of Beefy. He's gone for just one run. That's another wicket for Ajantha Mendes. And he's on a hat trick now. He's on a bloody hat trick. Flint of. Um, Decided to have a go at it. And uh, didn't really meddle at all that well. It's been the vast lovely catch. Stuart Broad will be fa facing the hat trick delivery from Ajantha Mendes. Last delivery of the over as well. He's only given up two runs. Here we go. No, it's Graham Swan actually who's facing it. He's gone after it. There's a fielder coming under it. Is he going to take it? No, he will not. The person in the crowd might take it, but not the fielder. Now that's for sure, there he goes, Graham Swan hits a massive six, 91 meters, that is a lovely bit of batting there. Well, that's another great shot, and that's another great six. Alrighty then, I'm loving this. I can get used to this, you know. Bloodstone Arena, another one of those stadiums where... Uh, the batsmen seem to be hitting lots of sixes. <clears throat> oh, he goes after him again. Is that another six? Is that another six? In fact, it is. Okay, then. I like this. Stuart Broad, he played quite aggressively in the third test as well. He got a 50. He's being aggressive here as well. I like that aggression from him. Oh, it's a lovely flick of the wrist straight to the field. Oh, okay, poor fielding. 
That's 210 up. Oh, he's gone after him again. Has he got another one? Is that a six? Is that a six? And yes, it is. They're going to end it with a six. Son of Jai Suri, yeah? It's very expensive in that over. Very expensive indeed. And he's, uh, the batsman has made the most of it. He's put England in a very comfortable position. Lester Cook, 109 of 63. Very good innings. And then stood pro towards the end, 22 and one over. All right, here we go. So Sana Jaisuria gave up 22 runs in the last over. And Dilshan's coming alongside him. Jimmy Anderson to open the bowling for England. Highest wicket taker ever for England. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go, first delivery to Sana Jaisuria. Alrighty then, that's a four. They are not stopping that. That's a lovely shot. That's oh, a lovely hook straight to the field. Is that the end of Jasuri? Yeah, it is. Was trying to get his own back. Trying to go for the 22 over run, uh, run over. And in the process, he's lost the wicket. He was facing one of the greatest from England. Jimmy Anderson, and he's got him. He's got him. That's Jofra Archer, who's been given a chance in this game as well. Sana Jaisuri are gone for only four runs. And the skipper, Mahila Jaivardini, Mr. Reliable, comes into bat. There he goes. Off the mark with a four. He's getting a bit of movement there, Anderson. He's getting a bit of beating there as well. That's 15 runs off the over. Not quite 22, but he has taken a wicket with it as well. So it's obviously not as bad as uh, the Jaisuri over, but still pretty bad. Yep. It's a good shot through mid wicket. Fielder's not giving up the chase. Oh, a bit of a mix up, but in the end, they've just decided to not go for it, not risk it. That's a good shot, that's a four. That's definitely a four. 14 of five now. Just going at a brilliant strike right there. Nearly 300. Yep. Oh, inside edge. Very lucky for Dilshan. And he gets four runs for it as well. Yep. Now that's a classy shot. And he'll get a classy four runs for it as well. Yep. That's a good hook. It's only taken one run. That's a good shot. That's gone to the boundary for four. Lovely. That's a good shot into extra cover. That's gone for four. Yeah, don't worry about that one. Oh, he sent that one straight down the ground. Don't worry about that ball, mate. That ball's gone. Easy does it for Jeff than a 20 of 10. Oh, you cheeky bugger. He's gone into extra cover. I thought he was going to go back to third man, but that's gone four runs regardless. Oh, I nicked it. Yeah, that's the end of Jai Rodini. Yeah. That's a big wicket. That's a massive wicket. That's the one and only Graham Swan who gets the breakthrough. The skipper has been dismissed. Good innings comes to an end. Twenty-four of fifteen. Got a six as well. Kumar Sangakara has been very lackluster. Look at that high score of twenty-one, average of uh, just under eleven. Not acceptable. Not from someone like Kumar Sangakara. He's much better than that. No, that's a good shot from Dilshan. Dilshan, he's doing well. He's doing all right. Oh, straight to the field, huh? It's not... Oh, it's actually carried, huh? But he's dropped it. I thought it will not carry, but no, it's carried. He has just dropped that one. It was a difficult one, a low catch. 
It's always a question of whether you go for the catch or do you try and stop the boundary, because if you go for the catch, you might end up, because you have to dive forwards and the ball just might go over your head and you'll give up four runs or even worse, it'll smash you in the mouth, you know, leave you bloodied. So uh, there's a bit of a risk involved in uh, trying to take that catch. That's why most fielders will just stay back and try and just stop the boundary instead. And that's what uh, Jimmy Anderson, I think it was, tried to do there as well. Although he did get to it in time to take the catch, but this one, well, Kumar Sangakar smashes it hard enough for it to go over the road for six. The fielder does not have to make a choice there. The choice is made for him. And that is that it will be given six. Yep. Well, that's a shot and a half. Is that another six? In fact, it is. Yes, it is. Kumar Sangakar is looking good. If he can get going, yeah, it's not going to be easy for uh, England. Even though they have a big total. Like I said, Kumar, I rate him so highly, I, I, I can see him getting a hundred here. Okay, straight to the field, and that's the end of Sangakara. So, no hundred, not even a half ton for Sanga today. Ben Stokes gets him out. And this is partially the reason why I'm a bit worried about England's future. Because I don't know who to drop now. How do you drop an all-rounder for a specialist batsman? I don't understand. Because the all-rounder can get you wickets like Ben Stokes did just now. So how am I going to... I just hope one of these... Wicket-keeping batsmen will start acting like a batsman. And so then I won't have to worry about dropping one of the all-rounders. First game Joffre's getting today. That's straight to the field. He's got him. He's got him. That's the end of Dilshan. We're slowing down quite a bit. They need to speed up. He tried to speed up and well, he's lost his wicket. So then, Joffre Archer, definitely not one of the greatest of all time, but he's a very talented bowler, that's for sure. And uh, he's got a bright future ahead of him. That's why this is only his first game ever in this uh, tournament. And uh, depends on how he performs here, but I don't think he's going to get many chances. Because how do you drop Darren Goff for Jofra Archer? I don't think he can. Well, I have done it, but you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, that's a six. Russell Arnold flexing the muscles. He's like, my name. It's Arnold, and there's a reason behind it. It's because I've got these guns, mate. These guns, and I'm going to come out guns blazing. There he goes. 311 sixes so far in the tournament. Yes. Oh, it's a thick edge. It's going to race away to the boundary for four. That's a shot. That's going to go to the boundary for six. Russell, like I said. He's got the guns, much like Arnold. Oh, what a delivery from Joffre. He smashed his leg stump. Look at that seam position. Oh, it's nipped off the seam, off the surface. Beaten Russell, but not the wicket though. It smashed right through the stumps. And Russell's gone for 16 of eight deliveries only looking very dangerous. Chaminda Vas comes out to bat now. Oh, he's gone. That's the end of Angelo Matthews as well. And uh, well, with him, that's the end of the dream for Sri Lanka. Well, let's be honest. The batters left are not good enough to chase down a total as big as uh, the one that England have posted today. And therefore, that right there will be not only the end of the game for Sri Lanka, but also the end of this tournament for Sri Lanka, as they will not be able to go through the next round if they lose here. And I say if, by if I mean when they lose here. Oh, that's a good shot, you know, that's gonna go for six. Yes, it will. Look at that, or I'm gonna hit it. It's like, don't count me out, mate. Gonna give it me all. And I have no doubt he will. The only thing I doubt is his all might not be enough. 
Hey, look at that. A fielder had to go for the rope. Ian Bell in this case. A lovely flick of the wrist. Oh, misfielded. Is that going to go to the boundary? No, it will not. Oh, boy. What is happening between those two? Oh, there's a bit of a mix-up with the batters as well. Oh, what is the direction he's gone? Oh, yeah, he's out. He's way outside of his crease. Not even in the frame. That's the end of going to hit it. Oh, boy. It's ironic because the, players who, the player who got out, his name is Herat. And what just happened there is also Herat Kibat. So uh, first the mishap from the field is, well, a couple of times. Then the batters and then making up for that mishap in the field with that lovely throw. And Ajanta Mendes comes out to bat now. And um, yeah, it's pretty much over. It's pretty much over for Sri Lanka. Okay, that's a good shot. There's a fielder coming under it. No, that's gone for six. Lovely. 83 meter six, that is. Lovely on the offside. There's not many batsmen who can hit the sixes on the offside, and uh, he's done it with ease there. Owen Morgan adjusting the field a bit. I don't think adjusting the field is going to help you stop sixes. Unless you put the fielder outside of the rope, in which case it's still going to be a six. I mean, he'll catch it, but it's still going to be a six. That's a shot. That's definitely a, a shot, that's for sure. But it's also a very brilliant shot as it goes over the rope for six. Like I said. There's no field you can set for a six now, is there? Oh boy, it's a big one. That's a good shot through gully. That's gone for four. Don't even bother running after that one. Oh, yeah, that's the end of Mendes. Got a bit too excited. Swanee is too good. He's just too good. You're not going to be able to play around with Swan like that. Leaving your wickets exposed like that is just not a good idea against a legendary spinner like Graham Swan. It's gone. Three runs only. Lasset Malinga. Oh, trying to be cheeky there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can punch the bat all you want, but that's that. He's got another one, Graham. He's having a great time out there against these tailenders. <laughs> and uh, they're down to their last wicket now, Sri Lanka. Thayam Muralidharan. Let's see what he can do. Look at that average. 50 average. <laughs> we'll just ignore the point before the five. Oh, that's a shot and a half. That's gone for four. Now you got to give him. You got to give him credit. <clears throat> Chaminda Vass. He's done well. He's uh, extended it. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's throat's gone. He's really taking the ball is on, and he's just not giving up. And that's good to see. His fighting spirit is uh, it's incredible. It's uh, lovely to watch. Oh, there he goes now. Mathiah joins the party as well. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yep. Oh, shot. Over point. Nearly hit it over the rope for six. My throat's gone, mate. Yep. That's, That's going to be a four as well. Yeah, it is. Oh, what a sharp turn. All good things must come to an end. As much as I was enjoying Chamenda Vas, he was playing in vain. He was never going to win. And I uh, hate to see it, really. I mean, I don't, don't want to see that. Don't want to see people putting in their best and their best just not good enough. But England's won by a huge margin here. Now the match goes to the one and only Alester Cook. And uh, he'll definitely be getting a couple more games. And uh, yeah, Sri Lanka, same story as before. Just not really able to uh, capitalize on the start they had. But um, 
It's part of the game, win or lose. It's just that when they lose that badly, that's what I don't like to see. All right, Graham Swan, 12 wickets, Abdul Razak right behind him. I was thinking of doing two videos today, but yeah, I'm done for today. My voice is gone. I don't think I can, I'm even able to do another one. There are the run scorers. All right, Clive Lloyd still far ahead of the rest. Yunus Khan is making his way slowly to Clive, though, but give him one more game, Clive, and he'll be at 400. <laughs> but yeah, that is how the table is looking now. Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, bye-bye. All three of you, you're out. Bangladesh still got a chance. A very good chance. Will they be able to make it into a top four? Let me know in the comments down below who are your top four now that we know that the bottom three are not going to make it. And uh, I know a lot of you are Pakistani. A, a huge portion of you are Pakistanis. And I, you know, that's fine. I mean, I'm a Pakistani, so you want to support me, and that's fine. I know a lot of you are Indian. A lot of you are Bangladeshi, a lot of you are Sri Lankans. What do you want me to do? I mean, I can't just replay the whole thing. I can't do that. I'm not going to do that because that's cheating. So, yeah, it's part of the game. Win or lose. Let's uh, continue this. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, just drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And I uh, hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.